Welcome back to Pro News, and today we are talking about the Sony A9 Mark III. So first, let's talk about the camera itself. The build of the camera feels great. It is, it has the traditional Sony layout that you will be very familiar with, with an extra, uh, I think, function button here that you can assign in front of the camera. The grip of the camera feels thicker than usual because it has been improved and changed by Sony and you definitely feel that in hand. It's extremely comfortable to hold. It doesn't feel like it's gonna fall even with zoom lenses like the 24 to 70 or the 70 to 200. But now moving on from build quality and let's talk about the sensor of this camera. Now Sony is bringing a global shutter full frame in this camera with high capabilities like a 120 frame per second burst rate. Now, what does this mean for photography? Well, it's pretty much living life on easy mode because with the combination of the very good autofocus capabilities, as well as the touch to track functionalities that you can see in the Sony cameras, it is pretty much very hard to miss your target and miss your shots. I think that this camera is great for photographers that are really in search for capturing a specific moment, meaning sports or wildlife, and you're looking for a camera that allows you to have very high burst rate, 120 frames per second rate, which is extremely high, as well as absolutely no rolling shutter, well, there's no other camera out there in this price range and around this um, particular market that can do that. So well done with that, Sony. It's an extremely good and high technological investment that a lot of people will benefit from, I believe. But that's not only true for the photography world, but it's also true for the videography world, right? We have seen those uh, global shutters in high-end cinema cameras or uh, also those, some red cameras that are more affordable but still with the global shutters, right? And those, sh those sensors usually smaller sensor, right? They are micro four-third or APS-C sensor. But right now you'll be able to use this camera with uh, basically a full-frame look with the full-frame glass and still have the same capabilities let's say if you are shooting moving subjects or if you are moving yourself, um, this is really why this camera is going to stand out and could be in the future used by more and more users when it comes to videography. Now, of course, this technology doesn't come without any drawbacks because what you will observe is that this camera will have a slightly worse dynamic range as well as low light capabilities when it comes to the, the existing Sony uh, cameras. But I would say that the low light performance as well as the noise is kind of comparable to the Fujifilm X-H2S that I'm using uh, to, to, to take this video. So it's definitely a great advancement when it comes to technology and when it comes to use cases because global shutter also means that you won't be limited in terms of sync speed with some flashes. Now, unfortunately, I did not have the time to test uh, flash with this camera because uh, there are some limited amount of flash that are compatible and I did not have access to the compatible flash at the moment, but I really want to uh, also try this aspect and this is why this is not a complete review as well because there's still a lot of things that I want to test with this camera. And this is the good thing about this camera. It means that there are so many possibilities that are now open. You can now have very high shutter speed even when you use flash, meaning that you will be able to have more creative and more interesting shots when it comes to movement, or freezing, uh, action more and more. And one more thing that I want to mention about this camera and that is for me one of the most comfortable aspect of it is its screen. Now this is not only a flip out screen but also a fully articulated meaning that you have best of both world when it comes to photography or videography or vlog. This camera has it all. So I really hope that more and more camera brands will bring this type kind of kind of design. I don't know if Sony patented it or not, but this type of design is honestly one of the best out there, if not the best at the moment when it comes to screen. So good job, Sony, on the screen. Now the EVF with this camera is also very good, very comfortable to use. When you put your eyes basically in there, uh, you really feel absorbed in it. 
and yeah, overall very good to use. One thing that I realized that I forgot to mention is that this camera only uses CF Express Type A as well as SD card. And this is kind of a letdown to me. Uh, I feel like Sony is really trying to stick with the uh, CF Express Type A. I personally prefer Type B because it's more an industry standard and more and more cameras are moving towards that uh, technology and this kind of peripheral. So yeah, just be aware that if you want to have the maximum capabilities with this camera, you are going to need to invest in the CF Express Type A. Um, personally, yeah, Type B will be better for me, but that's just how it is. So yes, overall, I would say that I had a great time testing this camera. This camera is very comfortable to use. The screen feels great. Uh, there are still tons of things that I want to test with it, whether it is more flash application and more creative shots. I would like also to, you know, have a small project and really focus on the video aspect of this camera as well. But I would say that overall, great camera to use, comfortable, great capabilities and a new technology that honestly opens a lot of possibilities for the future. I'm really looking forward to seeing more and more people experiment with this technology and have some really creative shots and yeah, bring some new things to the game of photography and videography. Thank you for watching today's video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to Pro News for more gear review like this one. And if you've missed it, check out this video right here where we review the Nikon ZF. I'll see you there.